So, the DCU, or whatever the fuck they call it, is just in shambles. Besides Wonder Woman, none of them have been very good. Even the best, I guess, would be like Justice League, was just okay. Really, this whole universe is a mess. So, why don't you just throw it out and start again? Why does it have to be in universe? Why don't we just have standalone titles? Some of the greatest DC stories are stories that you don't need any universe. You just need to know some of the characters. Even if you don't know them, introduce them and talk a little about them and people will fall in love with them or hate them, whatever their objective is. But we need to get back to the roots of why DC is so great. There's so many stories out there that are excellent in the universe of comics and they're just not taking those and putting it on the screen. So I'm here today to talk about five stories that need to take from the comics put them on screen and give us good dc movies and not that batman vs superman shit let's go coming at number five is superman american alien now listen i know the controversy with the writer on this one max landis whatever push that aside for a second this story needs to be on screen this is the superman that i want that i love that i need in the movie universe, one who is hopeful, one who makes mistakes, one who protects people, one who is happy, one who is figuring out himself, one who is trying to be a hero to people, but still trying to live his own life. This is the greatest Superman story, or one of the greatest anyway, to me the greatest, but one of the greatest ever created. It's funny, it's charming, it has great fights, it's it's just very well done the pacing's perfect and this can translate to a movie of taking superman from his younger days into his young adult age and i know they did that with man of steel but they did that terribly this can be everything you want from superman you want to feel uplifted and happy and powerful when you leave the theater when you're watching a superman movie this can do that so please for the love of god some director out there read american alien and make this movie please Coming at number four is Batman Earth 2, another series where please fix Batman, whatever the fuck happened, and the saddest part is I love Ben Affleck, I think he could have been a great Batman, he was pretty good in Batman vs Superman despite the movie being a pile of shit, but this universe thing is not working, but an Earth 2 Batman movie, fuck, they can enhance the comic, the comic is actually great, it's actually structured where you don't need any other hero, and I think that's what Batman would work best as, so let's introduce Batman in his younger days of becoming the superhero that he is now, now, not young like Gotham, we don't need Gotham, fuck Gotham, we want like a storyline of young Batman, like his first beginning days, similar to year one, but I think Earth 2 would make more sense, it's almost like a, a modern version of Bruce Wayne, and he makes mistakes and he's scared sometimes but he fights and he has the same motives and you get a new alfred who's much younger and much more in the story like you feel like alfred's a main central part of bruce and not just a father figure to feel emotional moments i really enjoyed all that so yeah just read earth 2 batman it's great it's only two volumes but i think this would be a great way to introduce batman into this you know, into movie world again, kind of like Batman Begins did. It doesn't have to be super gritty. It still had some humorous moments, but it still has the tone of Batman. And I would love to see this on the movie screen one day. Green Lanterns. Now, everybody's like, I want Kyle. I want Hal. I want all these characters. Fuck all that. I think that's all just a waste of time, to be honest, because we already had Hal. It didn't work. And introducing all these other characters like Guy and everything, they're cool and all, but... You want a new audience. You want an audience that you can relate to that they can bring into you. And I honestly think the Green Lanterns are some of the best ideas for the Green Lantern universe in a while. So you have Simon and you have Jessica. These are two superheroes, very different. And not to mention, I know people are only talking about because it it's race, but bringing two very different races together, you know, it's it to me is interesting. You know, having a Spanish and then an Arabic come together and work together and also they're almost like police green lanterns but having the social commentary a little bit in there but really having these two very different lifestyles different religions and you get to feel that the best part about reading a story in a comic world or even a novel is to go into a world that you're not used to to learn about things you're not really known to know like you don't know what this is and that's what i love about these characters their lifestyle is very different than mine and i really like to read them on top of that they have some of the coolest designs you can introduce them as the new green lanterns of earth you have a buddy cop everything could work type movie 
So why the fuck are we not making this? Fuck Kyle, fuck Hal. Not that, you know, I like them. Don't get me wrong. I like them a lot. But I just feel like this is the step that we should take for the Green Lanterns in the movie world. Introduce us to something new. Just skip all that shit like they did with Scott Lang for Ant-Man. Do that for the Green Lanterns so that way we can get something on screen and people can find out why Green Lanterns are so fun and their space opera adventure type storylines. Coming in at number two is Batgirl Year One. This... Honestly, I don't know how this isn't created. Um, Chuck Dixon has made one of the greatest Batgirl stories. It, it's super easy to get into. It's well written. You don't have to know anything before this other than there's a Batman, a Robin, and a Batgirl. That's it. Um, it's Honestly, the dialogue can even translate well to movies, which is something I don't always say about comics. Um, it has good pacing. It introduces a villain that's not a Batman villain, which is nice. And then... It's just the, the storyline, the the length of it is perfect for a movie. This will introduce people to the Batgirl that everybody really loves in the comic world. And I think this is the best way to introduce her. Just take this take this comic, just read it, and translate it. Oh, sorry, it gets me so frustrated. Not to mention, Wonder Woman was such a great success and such a great movie that I would love to see... Uh, instead of a god, a more normal girl becoming this hero that people can look up to. I am super excited to just take this storyline. I can't emphasize enough how good year one is, how solid it is, and bring it into the movie world. That's what we need right now. And my number one is kind of a funny one, Injustice. I know it's a video game. People love it. I know it's a comic. People love it. It's one of the best sellers. God what I would pray for this to be on the movie screen. I don't think it's ever going to happen. I would even settle for an animated series at this point. But Injustice is everything I love about the universe of DC. It takes all these characters, but puts them in situations they're not used to. And they might act out of character for you, but you have to understand this is a storyline where there's a plot that drives them to this. And these are different feelings or different actions that these characters would do in the regular universe but that's because of what happened i think this is one of the funnest storylines in dc it has stakes people die people feel scared and even as it stretches as it goes on it gets bigger 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 and then it goes small scale but you still feel the stakes even in injustice 2 where they take out some of the godlike characters injustice would work so good as a movie because people would be like holy shit this is the game of thrones of DC. People are dying, people are getting backstabbed, people are betraying, people are scared. It is perfect to put on the screen as something totally different. Just like Logan came out and did something different, just like Deadpool came out and did something different, they opened to huge numbers, Injustice can do that too. So, I would love to see an Injustice movie. You can just have all different characters. People don't have to know them, they just have to feel the emotion of the main characters. And I would love to see this. I know it's not gonna happen, but this is my dream. This is my dream. In 20 years, when I'm fucking 50 years old, I wanna see this on screen and smile. But that's it, that's all I have, folks. I mean, DC is filled with a million storylines you could probably pick from that are standalone, like Kingdom Come, or even Hush, or any of these storylines. There's so many I can choose from, but these are like the five that I just don't understand why are not on screen. Okay, Injustice, I kind of understand. The other four, I don't understand. Put these on fucking screen. Fix your goddamn company, WB. Anyway, I love DC. I want to see these on screen. But what are some of your stories that you've read, that you love, that you want to see on screen, on the big screen, right now? All right, that's all I got. Everybody have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video.